Welcome to Moto Trek. I'm Dusty Wessels, professional motorcycle instructor with West 38 Moto. Riding steep and tight uphill and downhill corners will require you to use momentum, vision, and body position. The two most important things to riding uphill are commitment and momentum. If you're not committed and you're not sure about how steep the hill is, hop off your bike and walk it. But first, we'd like to thank The Ridge for sponsoring this video. I've been carrying a wallet in my front pocket since I was 16 years old. Thank you, Ridge Wallets, for designing an awesome, rugged, tough wallet. It's the slimmest wallet I've ever had in my front pocket. The Ridge Wallet is RFID blocking and comes with a lifetime warranty. I like using the strap to hold my cash, but it comes with a clip too. Thank you, Ridge Wallets, for making a rugged, minimalist wallet. When entering an uphill corner, it's best to have as much speed as possible you can always ease off the throttle and gravity will slow you down. Normally when we're riding uphill, we want our weight forward. In this case, that's the same on the approach, but as soon as you get into the corner, we need to shift our weight outside. We also need to shift our weight back. This is because we want the front wheel to track better in the terrain that we've got in a turn. So we want to lighten it up. We also want to put as much weight as possible on the rear wheel to gain as much traction as possible. What's gonna determine how much weight you shift to the outside and back is how fast and tight you decide to take this corner. The slower you go, the more weight you have to shift outside. As you're riding through this uphill turn and you've got your weight shifted all the way to the outside, keep it here. Our tendency is to see our exit and wanna go. And what we do there is shift our weight to the inside or we just move neutral a bit. That can cause the bike to fall. And at this point, if the bike falls, you don't have the ground as close to you as you do when you're on flat ground. So you're going to fall and you're going to tumble and the bike is going to fall wheels up. That's a bad position for everybody to be in. Right here, the key is to keep your weight outside all the way through the corner until your wheels get straight before you move your body back to the neutral riding position. When you're riding your adventure bike up steep hills that have tight corners, your vision is going to come in chunks. You can only see what's in front of you right now. You won't be able to see your exit right away. As you go through the corner, keep your eyes up and focus as far down the trail as you can. For safety purposes, always ride right. When you can, ride the furthest on the outside of the corner. This is going to reveal what the trail is going to throw at you much sooner. That's a good one for this corner, it's a left. If I'm way outside, I can see the whole road as my vision comes clear. I don't know what the traction looks like up there. I don't know what trail obstacles there are gonna be. Just remember, your vision's coming in chunks. You can't see everything right away. When riding downhill, it's important to control your momentum. There are multiple ways to control your momentum going downhill through a corner. You can use your brakes, you can use your clutch, or you can use the engine brake. If you're comfortable in first or second gear with the steepness and tightness of this corner, use your engine brake. It's the smoothest way down. The other way to control your momentum downhill is to use your brakes. If the hill's too steep and the corner's too tight for a first gear engine brake that's just too fast for you, pull your clutch in, compress your front brake, and get your weight back. Why your front brake downhill? It's the best brake because that's where all the weight is. Now, if it's too loose underneath you or there's a lot of baseball sized rocks and that front wheel is having a hard time engaging terrain and getting traction to control your momentum, add in your rear brake. Do this nice and easy. You don't want to lock your rear wheel because it'll slide. Just add the rear brake in enough to compress the suspension and squat the bike and assist the front brake in controlling your momentum. When riding off road and approaching steep downhills and corners, body position is very important. When you approach the corner, you need to initiate the turn by pressing on your inside foot peg. Then shift your weight to the outside or counterbalance. Hold that body position until both wheels get straight before shifting back to neutral and then ride on. For safety purposes, always ride right. However, if you can determine there's no oncoming traffic, 
take this corner as wide as possible. This gives you the ability to look further down the trail and assess the terrain. Not all corners are as smooth as this one. We know from riding on trails, the inside of these corners, especially on the up or the downhill when it's steep, has got a lot of stuff in it, it's chopped up. Another reason to stay outside. However, when you get to a point on the outside of the corner and you can see the rest of the trail, get to the inside or the middle as quick as possible. You don't want to exit on the outside of the corner because that takes away all your lines. If you're on the outside, that's where you're going to end up. As soon as you can see the trail in front of you, cut it off as fast as possible, get back to the middle or get to the inside. Remember, vision, momentum control, and body position are the key techniques to riding steep up and downhill corners.